Hi, I'm Charlie Kasov. I'm a math teacher, and today we're going to learn how to convert an L-shaped countertop from square feet to linear feet. Now the problem with that is that square feet do not break down to linear feet in just one way. For example, here is a rectangle, and if you have four feet by three feet, well, this square feet is 12. It's four times three square feet. But you can also have another rectangle of six by two, and this would be 12 square feet, because this also is uh, six times two equals 12. So what you need to do to figure out your L-shaped countertop is you actually need to measure the linear dimensions. For example, here is an L-shaped countertop. Let's say this is six feet, this here is two, this is four, this is two, and this would be two and four. So to figure out the area, well, you'd have two basic rectangles. You'd have this rectangle, which is two, or rather four by two, so this would be eight square feet. And then here you have two by four, which is eight square feet. And that would be a total of 16 square feet, which is not very, it's not very easy to go from 16 square feet back to six by two by four by two by two by four. So you need to measure the linear length separately. You can't just figure out the square footage of an L-shaped countertop because it's not that intuitive. So I'm Charlie Kasov, and you just learned about square feet and linear feet when it comes to L-shaped countertops. Thanks a lot.